Hello, my name is Veer Animus of VA Games. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X. This is episode 7, and today we're going to be going through Spark Mandrill's power plant. Uh, if you can remember back to June, uh, at the end of Storm Eagle's video, I did mention that uh, the Death Road humor crashes into uh, this, this stage, this fortress here. And it causes some pretty cool effects. As you can see, the power here is flickering on and off. And uh, there are no little lightning bolts that, you know, flow through the floor and, and cause damage. I mean, it's not really a, a big, you know, bonus for doing this first, but it does help. The, uh, the most important thing to remember, though, is that if you beat Storm Eagle first and you cut the power here, this boss is uh, much, much easier. As you can see, he's trying to hook into the ceiling to draw some power and attack you, but nothing's coming out. He's just shooting uh, puffs of smoke because he cannot get any power. Um, that actually didn't really stop him from being a bit annoying here. As you can see, he's, he's bouncing very frequently and uh, very quickly, kind of erratically. So he was a little bit hard for me to track and, and avoid, so I take a little bit more damage than I really should have here. But uh, if, you, if you do have any more trouble with him, even after you've disabled his, his really only way of attacking, well, not only way, but if you disable his way of attacking you and you're still having trouble, um, I believe the, this boss shares his master's weakness in the shotgun ice. Otherwise, uh, the Storm Tornado actually worked pretty well because of, of how, how much area it covers and how quick it, you know, how many times it will attack. Um, but once you get through this guy, the rest of the level is really easy. It's just a matter of, of uh, watching out for a few of those little like turtle guardians that you'll see one of them coming up right here. Other than that, there, there isn't anything. You got the, uh, the sub tank in the beginning and then this heart container which is a very easy jump. Uh, it's very easy even for people that are not as comfortable with the platforming aspect of the game. And once you get through all that, like I said, the, the level's pretty short, but it's a lot of fun, and I had a great time. I did this level probably about 12 times before I got the run as perfect as I did here. So this is, this is so, so far, this is my favorite run. And I was very, very pleased with how it turned out, and I, I, uh, I would like to think that future videos will have the same kind of quality. Uh, I certainly try to, you know, put my best into it every time. Uh, now this is the boss, Spark Mandrill, and, and he's actually, he's not really that hard. Um, in this one, just like the mini-boss, I, I can't remember that thing's name, but just like that mini-boss, this guy was, was very erratic, and he, uh, he moved around a lot, and he didn't, he didn't follow patterns he normally follows. Like right now, usually he will fall from the, uh, fall from those little bars at the top on the ceiling and fist punch into the like punch his fist into the wall but he doesn't do that now now he keeps jumping afterwards and he uses the uh, the electricity attack several times over and over again and it's just a pain um, use the shotgun ice on him and he becomes the easiest boss in the game because you freeze him and he can't move and if you time it perfectly enough you can make it so that he never moves from the spot that he lands in when the match starts and that's really all there is to this stage. It's very simple, it's very short. Uh, when you do finish it, you'll get the electric spark attack, which is pretty worthless as far as I'm concerned, but it is strong against one of the game's final bosses if, if you need it. Uh, but that's it. Next up, I think, is Armored Armadillo, and uh, hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.